Shalom. We the real Hebrew Israelites coming to you week in and week out. Prophesying the downfall of the society and the return of the Most High and His only begotten Son, Yahweh Shai, who they misconstrue and call Jesus, who is Jesus. And who is Zeus? A mythological creature. They say he is a white man, blue eyes, blonde hair, when he's a black man with woolly hair and skin. As a uh, skin that it was uh, bronze burned in the fire. So we're here to prophesy the return of the Most High and the deliverance of his children, who are the real Hebrew Israelites, so called blacks, so called Latinos, so called Native American Indians. So, first and foremost, all praises and all honor to Yahweh, Bahasham, Yahweh Shai. Right. 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 And then we get double honors to the elders out of New York. You know what I'm saying? Special honors to uh, Elder Rakhar, who was in Chicago a couple of days just for about an hour. It was a beautiful thing. Uh, we really appreciate you, brothers. Uh, the spirit is a beautiful thing. Knowing you're a Hebrew Israelite is a beautiful thing. If you don't believe you're a Hebrew Israelite, you don't know who you really are, you call yourself an African American, you're a fool. Because what you're doing is making sure you're not going to be in the inner sanctum, in the inner presence of the Most High, Yahweh Ba Shem, Yahweh Shai. We in this truth because the Most High woke us up to this truth. And uh, one of the rewards of being in this truth is hopefully if we endure to the end, being in the presence of our Father, Yahweh Ba Hashem, Yahweh Shai, and being rulership over these heathen nations. And all these people who do not care about the Most High, who think this is a joke, who live living life in on top right now, when they ain't shit but peons and servants. We're gonna be in, uh, we're gonna have our thumb over, our foot in their behind, and we're gonna rule them with an iron fist. Why? Because they don't praise the Most High. Somebody give me, uh, somebody give me, uh, give me uh, uh, Isaiah, I mean, Psalms 96 and 5. Because people think that the Most High is here for everybody, but how is the Most High here for everybody when everybody else is not serving the Most High? There's only one group of people serving the Most High, and that's the real Hebrew Israelites that's on this list right here. So-called Latinos, so-called Native Americans, and so-called uh, Negroes, man. Go ahead. This is Psalms 96 and 5. For all the gods of the nations are idols. Some of them. For all the gods of the nations are idols. Okay, majority of the nations, but there's a few other nations outside of Israel that's cool. For all, all the gods of the nations are idols. He said all the gods of the nations are idols. That means there ain't nobody out here serving the true one God, Yahweh, Baal Yahweh Shai, except for the men and women of the Lord who are woken up to their heritage and their culture. And the most high dealing with men, so 99% of these women don't know it either. That's why the Most High set up the men of the Lord. So we can warn people that he's coming back. And he's coming back with judgments, man. Give me four sword judgments. He's coming back with judgments. The people who are going to make it out of this great tribulation that's about to happen. Give me uh, Jeremiah 30 and 7. Are the real men of the Lord. And the real women of the Lord. The Most High is coming back to destroy this place because of this wickedness. It says it's okay for homosexuals to get married. It says it's okay to rob people and take them from their native lands. They say it's okay to uh, build up grievous laws and grievous statutes and not tell people their heritage. Somebody give me Micah. Micah 2. All right? Yeah. Let's bring these precepts out. Oh, yeah. We'll finish this one. Finish that out, brother. This is Psalms 96 and 5. For all the gods of the nations are idols, but Yahweh made the heavens. So our Father made the heavens, and we are the real children of the Most High. All right? What's the next one I called out? Ezekiel 14, 21. For thus saith the Lord, Yahweh, how much more when I send my four sword judgments? Four sword judgments. It's coming to this place, to the planet Earth. Four sword judgments. What are they? For thus saith the Lord God, how much more when I send my four sword judgments upon Jerusalem, the sword, the sword, and the famine, the famine, and the noisome beast, the noisome beast, and the pestilence, and the pestilence. You about to see uh, a great, give me Jer uh, uh, Jeremiah 30 and 7. This is Jeremiah 30 and 7. Alas, 
For the day is great, so that none is like it. It is even the time of Jacob's trouble. He said it's the time of Jacob's trouble. That's that four sword judgment. You're going to see ICBM missiles. You're going to see martial law. You're going to see FEMA camps. You're going to see all kind of pestilences and diseases and more and more and more uh, poisons and people dying and killings and people just, I mean, chaos, race wars. Everything is coming. Why? Because the Most High is on its way back. That's right. You got Matthew 24. Give me that where he says uh, uh, a great tribulation. All right, you got any more there? Yeah. Go ahead. Alas, for the day is great, so that none is like it. It is even the time of Jacob's trouble, but he shall be saved out of it. The only one who's going to get saved out of it is Jacob. He said Jacob will be saved out of it, not these other nations. So that means that's the reason why we're going to make it to the kingdom if he chooses us, if we return to the laws, statutes, and commandments. Stop eating pork, catfish, and shellfish, and crayfish, and all that other abominable things. Stop eating that swine. Stop lying. Stop killing. Stop doing abominable things. Come back into the Bible and you're keeping the law, statute, and commandments. Start reading them scriptures and repenting daily. That's what we're supposed to do. That's right. Um, Mike. Uh, one second. Go ahead. Matthew 24 and 21. For then shall be great tribulation. Then shall be great tribulation. You think this is a joke? This ain't no joke. The so-called Negroes are kings. And they're the sons of the Most High. While they sit over there, got us over here as slaves and paupers, the Most High about to come back and destroy this place. That's right. We don't, the men of the Lord. We're the prophets of the Lord. Warning about destruction and woe before it happens. That's what a prophet does. We ain't here to be nice and hold somebody's hand. We not here to be nice and talk about um, lollipops and fruitcakes. You know, cotton balls and... Uh, Catching roses like the boss is there. All right. Go ahead. For this shall be great tribulation, such as was not since the beginning of the world. This is going to be something that ain't ever been seen before. Bodies upon bodies dead. People going around losing their mind. Go ahead. Such as was not since the beginning of the world to this time. No, nor ever shall be. All and right. Go ahead. And except those days should be shortened, there should be there should no flesh be saved. But for the elect's sake, those days shall be shortened. Now, now why does everybody say time is being sped up, man? All right? Hey, you you know what? Won't you record our information so you know how to get a hold of us, yeah. brother? All right? Because I'll go ahead and give it to you. Um, tell me when you're ready. I'm ready. You can go to um, HTTP. You know, um, the website, uh, the address you put in your address bar and put in the real Hebrew Israelites.webs.com. You can also go to YouTube and put in Uriah, which is Y A R A H Y A H uh, 4, the number 4, and, and put it in the search and it'll pull up our videos. You can put in G, um, that's all one word. You, you, guys you can put in G. Chicago. Huh? You guys are based here in Chicago. That's where you see us, brother. You know what I'm saying? And uh, we got uh, GMS Chicago SW4, all one word. Oh, and that's, that's why I asked, because we got a couple of brothers came from New York. Right. We to, uh, I hear you. That's the reason why I asked. That's all right, brother. You know what I'm saying? It's nothing wrong with that. Uh, but yeah, we're here. We're based here. And, and uh, uh, if you uh, want my, our number to get a direct contact, yeah. you can get. I'll do that off camera. All right. Shake your hand, man. Thank you very much, all you guys. Thank that's you. Right. Thank you. Shalom. Thank you. Shalom. Right, uh, thank you, thank you. So, uh, what was the last one we just read? Uh, and they said, uh, if it was, no, I got you. If, the, it, and the, if he didn't shorten the days, the elect, for the elect's sake, we wouldn't be able to survive. So, if we didn't, uh, Mike, alright, uh, if, if the Most High wasn't being merciful, we wouldn't be able to be make it out of this trouble, man. So this is this is uh, up, this is the Most High, all right. So what what type of world? Who is our competitors? Who is our adversary? Which is the word uh, what Satan means, human adversary. Devil means deceiver. Who's the devil? Who's the, the human adversary of the so-called Hebrew Israelites? So-called white man. He's gonna break it down in these characteristics. Go ahead, brother. Micah, chapter two, verse one. Woe to them that devise iniquity 
sleep and work evil upon their bed. So who making these wicked laws? Who's making these li wicked statutes and commandments? Say it's okay to be uh who says it's okay for gay people to get married? Why who said it's okay to uh enact the NDAA Act of 2012 indefinite detention of anybody they want to anywhere on the planet? They already assassinated Muammar Gaddafi, they assassinated Saddam Hussein. Now they got the so-called American citizens and people under a terrorist uh, act, under the Patriot Act. All of us are terrorists. And they can come, anytime they just say, you know what, you against our law, that's the Gestapo. That's back to Hitler days, man. And you all think this is a joke. We are the real men of the Lord. And we're here to warn our people about the impending doom and destruction coming on this society. If you're on this list, you got a chance. If you repent. If you're on this list, you can come back into the law, statute, and commandments of the Most High if the Most High show mercy on you. If you don't listen and look at yourself on this list and come back into the Bible and come back into the truth and start keeping the law, statute, and commandments, the Most High is going to destroy this place, man. Clamorous bitch. <laughs> so, uh, go ahead, brother. When the morning is light, they practice it because it is in their power, in the power of their hands. So, hey, that's why they got all these wicked laws, because as soon as the light shines, as soon as the day comes, they do it. That's why, all, uh, man, we can't even go through the whole wickedness of all the laws they got, man. Go ahead. And they covered fields. Oh, they just covered. You got some land? Sure. I want your land. Yeah. You know what? What they do? Yeah. What do they do? And they want your house. Go ahead. And take them away. And they take your lands by how? They take them by violence. By violence? Like, yeah. And they cut the fields and take them by violence. And what else? And houses and take them away. So they oppress a man and his house, even a man and his heritage. So they come and said, excuse me, Mr. Native American Indian. Uh, matter of fact, you're, you're just, give me this land. And just come and take it, man. Yeah. What do they do? Put polio in some blankets, man. Yeah. What do they do? They sit up there and um, use, uh, uh, invent a Gatling gun. The tribe of uh, Native American Indians is the tribe of God. That's what they get the word Gatling gun from. Because they couldn't kill it with no regular bullets. Their skin was too tough. We're supernatural beings, man. We're not normal, man. Who's the best basketball players, football players? Who's the best thinkers? Who's the best inventors? Who's the best lovers? The best musicians? The best singers? The best at everything. The best at everything. And they got us at the lowest on the total pole. We're exactly where Deuteronomy 28 said we'll be if we don't keep the law, statute, and commandments of the, of the Most High. Read Deuteronomy 28. All right? Go ahead. Um, go ahead. Keep going. Therefore, thus saith Yahweh our Lord. Behold, against this family do I devise an evil. So the Mosad says, against Esau, which is the so-called white man, he devises an evil, which means he's going to destroy your ass for all your wickedness and all your proudness that you've done against his people. Go ahead. From which you shall not remove your necks. And you will not be able to remove your necks, meaning you are going to be put in this situation. And there's nothing you can do to escape it. Nothing. When the Bible says, is he devised an evil and he's going to do it. He's going to do it and there's nothing you can do about it. Go ahead. Neither shall ye go haughtily, for this time is evil. He said you ain't going to be proud no more. He said this is going to be an evil time. Four sword judgment time. It's not going to be no more Mr. Nice Guy. It's going to be judgment. Give me uh, my favorite, you know what I'm saying? You already know. Go ahead. In that day, shall one take up a parable against you. And then that day, there's going to be people saying, whoa, 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 what are they going to say? And lament with a doleful lamentation. And they're going to make a big doleful noise, a, a huge lamentation. Go ahead. And say, we be utterly spoiled. He hath changed the portion of my people. So wait a minute. Who right now is elevated in an elevated high state? And they're going to say, oh,